Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Westboro. If you haven't seen the show before, my name is Art Bergeron. My day job is as an elder law attorney here at Myrick O'Connell. There are 20 of us here in Westboro. There are 70 of us overall, but this is not about um, elder law. This is about my friends, Frank and Mary. If you've seen one of my presentations, you know that Frank and Mary, they have a very simple goal in life. They want to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if that means they're in Westboro, they don't want to move with their kids in Texas or even in Marlboro. They want to stay here. So the point of the show is to figure out who the people are they need to know and what programs they need to know about in order to stay right here. So if you identify with this, you might be really interested in this show. So as you all know, I have a famous co-host, Shelby Marshall, just off of her last stint at town meeting uh, and feeling good about it. Um, and and she always finds these great guests and, and continues to amaze me regarding all the things that are happening in Westboro. It seems like all the time. It's just an incredible community. So anyway, Shelby, you've got some great guests talk, talking to Frank and Mary about things, uh, something they really, really should be interested in. This is straight dollars and cents saving money, how the town and town groups are helping them save money. Shelby. Absolutely. Well, good morning, Arthur. Great as always to see you. Someday we'll be back. Imagine this. We'll do the show in the studio one day again together. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. I know. I know. But until then. Yeah. Uh, so I am so excited um, about today's show. Today we're going to talk about Westboro Power Choice. I'm joined by Peter Dunbeck and Eileen Nicopolis. Um, Peter, Eileen, and several others, uh, Carol Fisher, John Metzger, our assistant town manager and I, um, along with our consultant, the town's consultant, have been working together for several months um, on this program to bring it to Westboro. And um, I'm going to let Pete and uh, Eileen introduce it. But you're absolutely right. If you if you want to live here in Westboro, you need power. You need electricity. And Frank and Mary, they they want electricity to make sure they can still read their books and entertain. And and uh, we're going to show them how to do that um, uh, in a most cost effective green manner as they choose. So Pete and Eileen, welcome. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah. So tell us, what is Westboro Power Choice? Uh, so Westboro Power Choice um, actually was formed uh, four years ago um, as a Westboro Community Aggregation. And it was formed um, by the town manager and the board of selectmen as a way to bring affordable fixed price electricity. In fact, affordable, affordable fixed price electricity and uh, to decrease the town's carbon footprint by having that be um, mostly green energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we recently changed the name to Westboro Power Choice because we didn't feel that um, Westboro Community Aggregation really communicated what we were trying to do. So we thought Power Choice was a lot more effective. I remember when I heard community aggregation, I thought it was a bunch of people standing downtown. I, I thought we're, we're <laughs> aggregating something. I'm not sure. I didn't realize it was power until I became a selectman. I'm just kidding. Um, so actually, I'm going to do something by sharing our screen because I my screen and hope that we can do this in a smart way here. Um, so um, Pete, um, tell us about how we get electricity. Um. So the, 20, 30 years, 25 years ago, the state deregulated um, uh, the electric supply and separated um, the selling of electric generation, the sources, from the delivery. And so National Grid, who we think of as our electric company, is, is actually the electric distribution company that has the monopoly for Westboro. Previously, National Grid also owned power plants and supplied the electricity for the grid. And if you click one through, um, the new system, uh, in, in one more click, sure. um, is based on um, allowing every resident, every business to choose their own energy supplier. The distribution still goes through National Grid, the uh, services, if you have a problem, you know, power's out and so forth, you call National Grid and they, they address that. Um, all of the billing is done through National Grid. So the delivery and the, and the use of electricity and the billing and paying is all done the same. 
but the supply is different. And that was the big change that happened, which gives us the power to pick our own energy sources. And the state allows communities like Westboro to negotiate on behalf of the residents in negotiating a volume purchasing deal where they can get um, uh, better prices, hopefully, although pricing can't be guaranteed. Um, uh, price savings can't be guaranteed. Uh, it does allow uh, a volume purchasing agreement. And one of the things that Westboro has done in, in our purchase agreement is also increase the amount of renewable energy in our, our um, uh, contract, our default contract. And um, this is um, a, a key strategic goal for the town is to become more renewable and, and to be more sensitive to climate impact. So um, we're excited about this change. So when we think about um, this program, and hopefully you guys can see me again. I stopped sharing my screen. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, so um, I, I think it's critical that Frank and Mary understand, um, because to me it almost sounds too good to be true, that, that the town is able to negotiate um, rates um, and, I, and, um, and that will protect, protect them from other similar programs that may have predatory practices. Can we talk a little bit about the rates? What are the choices available to them? And why is this program, you know, kind of how it's vetted by the town? I think it would be um, helpful if we went to uh, one of our slides. I believe it's um, slide six that shows our plans and, and the actual prices. And we can, okay. we can talk to that. Okay, and hopefully you can see that now. Uh, so yeah, we have um, three plans uh, within Westboro Power Choice. Um, so um, the group went out to negotiate uh, three different levels for people. So our default plan um, is includes 40% local renewable energy. Um, and so that's, at, you can see on the screen, 10.435 cents per kilowatt hour, which is quite a good rate. Um, <clears throat> we also built a budget plan um, for people who are uh, more price sensitive. It has the minimum amount of renewable energy at 9.709 .09 cents per kilowatt hours. And then we have a 100% green plan, which is 100% local renewable energy. And that's at 12.585 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, we think that these are all really great plans. Um, and the great thing about them is that the price is guaranteed for 36 months. So no matter uh, which plan you choose, you can move into and out of plans as you choose. Um, but whatever price you choose, you can be in that plan for the duration of the contract, which is a really big contrast to what you would get if, get if you were um, with National Grid. Their prices are going to go up and down um, based on supply and demand. And typically in New England, it's higher prices in the winter and lower prices in the summer. So uh, when you join Westboro Power Choice, this is your price. You know it's going to be this price in the summer, and you know it's going to be this price in the winter. Right. And there's actually um, uh, a way for folks to actually um, kind of predict their pricing, right? The, the tools that we've created um, allow uh, for folks to actually kind of calculate what their um, uh, electric bill would be based on uh, prior usage, correct? Yeah, that's absolutely right. You can go in and, you know, type in your your kilowatt hours. You get it right off of your bill, mm -hmm. and you can you can figure out um, how much, you know, your your payment is going to be. So, okay, speaking of the bill, can you just kind of walk folks through this? So, Frank and Mary are going. This sounds really great. They're going to go grab their electric bill when they're done with this, and they're going. It's going to look something like this. So, can you walk them through what they want to look for? and what they should do next if they want more information about Westboro Power Choice. Yes, absolutely. So um, there are two sections of your bill. Um, if you're looking at this screen um, on the left, we've got a red arrow pointing to delivery services. So those are the charges um, 
for getting your electricity to your house. Not the electricity itself, but the, the, the delivery charges. Um, and that's all gonna remain the same. That's what National Grid will bill you for, um, for them. The second page is the supply services. Um, and that is the actual electricity. So this is where the change would show up. Um, so we have right here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see the small, it says uh, small writing, Public Power LLC, Westboro AGG. So that's a bill, for example, of someone who's currently a member of Westboro Community Choice Aggregation. And that's who their supplier shows up as. So you can go grab your bill right now and figure out if you're already a member by seeing who your supplier is. If it says public power, then you're already a member. Um, <clears throat> if you choose to, if you're not already a member and you choose to join, or if you are currently a member and um, in uh, starting in your November or December bill, um, it will say um, public. Uh, sorry, it will say Dynagy. Dynagy, uh, Westboro. Slide, slide, slide five and just do the last click of the bill. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> got ahead of myself, guys. Sorry. It's I got all, right. all excited with my. Uh, oh, sorry, you guys. Hold on. Last slide, slide five. There we go. Now, there, there it is. Go. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you had and it for a second. And there one click. There you go. There you go. So. Um, it's going to change to Dynagy Westboro Power Choice aggregation. So if you enroll, that's what you'll see. And one, and one thing I want to go back to, if I could. Uh, sure. An important point that you raised, Shelby, was in regard to competitive energy suppliers. Because there's a lot mm -hmm. of people who are out there um, offering renewable energy or low-cost energy and so forth. They can telemarket you and door-to-door -door and whatever. Um, there's hundreds of people out there selling energy sources um, that would plug right into the National Grid program. Um, the issue is some of them are, have questionable business practices. And as an example of that, they might have a 90-day low price. And so you look at it and you say, wow, it's only eight cents a kilowatt hour for my electricity. 90 days goes by and then suddenly it goes to 15 cents a kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not saying all of these companies are predatory or you know, bad business people and so forth, but Westboro has done its due diligence to protect its citizens with this program. We've done an analysis of how we compare to other communities. We have a very competitively priced program. We benchmarked it against national grids historic rates and and have actually saved the town money through the four years of the program. Yeah, mil as um, in, and I know you guys won't say this, but I will, as in millions of dollars. So this program has been really effective for the, the community um, in saving people money. So, um, and to your point, the protections that it allows the stability of the pricing, I mean, this really is a no brainer. It, it really is. And you have the choice of three plans that, um, you know, fit your budget and fit your desire relative to, uh, you know, how green you want to be. Yeah. So and Shelby, if I'm, I'm the rest bro, if I'm Frank and Mary and I'm listening to this Yep. and I'm saying, okay, so I'm going to pull out my bill and it's going to tell me like what I'm paying now. Yep. Right. Or actually it's just going to tell me what I was paying like last bill, like last month, right? It's not going to go for the, for the year. Is there some quick way that I, as Frank, we as Frank and Mary can say, okay, this is what we paid last year, you know, yep. for the, for our, for our power, you know, because the, as you say, the, the, the transmission stuff stays the same, right? So it's just this piece of the bill are related to where the power is coming from. Is there some way that I could quickly say, okay, you know, kilowatt hours I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head yep. but here's what i spent in that section you know it last year on that and and i'm comparing that and so now i can really look at the the, the other three the, the three alternatives that the that 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 you guys have done and and kind of compare and contrast 
So it's a great it's a great question, Arthur and, and Pete. Keep me honest here, but what I, what folks should be looking at right now on my screen is um, directly from I went from Westboro's home screen, right? You can yeah. all see that. Yeah. Right here, Westboro Power Choice brought me to this slide. There's this really cool calculator right here. Ah, a calculator. Just what Look I want. Look at that. Right. Look at that. And so you plug in, uh, you know, I don't know, fifty. There you go. Uh, how about 638, which happens to be pretty close to the average there household cost per kilowatt, kilowatt hours in a month? Yep. Yes. So there you go. You just plug it in, and then and then it will it will speak to um, the the comparison price. And it compares. Yep. Um, That's and right. then just uh, one comment yep. on on that the current as you're showing it is the yes. current contract. It doesn't show the three plans that are being launched uh, in the fall and, and will be effective. If you log in in, um, I believe, uh, the middle of October, the website should be up with the new plans. Absolutely. Now I have one more kind of global question. How can it, how is it, this is me kind of the know. consumer, how can it be that there are all of these predatory plans that can actually market to everybody that they aren't being regulated out you know or or don't aren't required to have some kind of of uh, of I don't know some kind of fair warning to people because I mean I was aware of the existence of aggregation and actually we're doing it in Marlboro and it's terrific I was unaware that other than the local aggregate aggregation alternative there were all these other potential players right who can sell you a bill of goods in a second I, I'm just I'm just curious or, or is there or Put another way, is there any control on those players? Because that sounds terrible. Well, I, I can say that the um, Massachusetts Attorney General's Office has done a study for the last two years. Um, and they are aware of what's going on. And um, so they determined uh, through their research that, that many of these companies are um, uh, operating in a less than forthright manner, put it that way. <laughs> That they are targeting the elderly, and um, as Pete said, they're starting with high prices, low prices, excuse me, and and jacking their prices up. Um, I'm not aware of any legislation to to change that at the moment, but I do know that the attorney general is um, aware of what's going on, and she's encouraging consumers to to be cautious and. So that's why having a town vetted program like this is so valuable. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's this, great. At this, this point, it's, at this point, it's basically buyer beware. And so that's part of our message is um, the people in Westboro, the elderly and, and anybody who I, I actually bought into one of those plans. So it's uh, I guess I'm before you got smart, right, Pete? Yes. Yes. Oh, I, no, he did it as a he just did it as a test. He just wanted to. <laughs> As a test to see if he could lose some money. School and he, of su and he succeeded. That's great. <laughs> and, um, uh, and and regretted it. So um, it it is um, easy to fall into, yeah. and it is a buyer beware situation. So part of the program that we're conveying here is this has been vetted by Westboro. A lot of people have looked at it with consultants who know the industry. Uh, and the new branding, in part, is to help reinforce that this is a Westboro vetted program. Yeah. Westboro Power Choice logo will be on the literature and on the website. The town seal will be on the literature and the website to ensure that you're not dealing with um, Westboro's uh, electricity and pizza shop um, right. package. <laughs> Right. Well, and I and so so consumers, just as we wrap this up, I, I want to. So there will be a flyer going out in the next water bill. Um, right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. That's correct. Right. So um, so folks will learn about this again. Um, so if they forget about today's show and they go, oh, I'm Frank, come over here. Look at this. Remember, we, we saw that show. Here they are again. Um, but there, as of um, this, when we started the negotiations for this program, there were already 5,000 um, uh, residents and I think 1,000 businesses um, on the community choice aggregation program. So this is not like a fly-by-night uh, program. You know, Frank and Mary should uh, really look at this. Um, 
Uh, talk with your kids about it. Um, there, we'll put the website up on the screen here along with the customer service phone number, but you can also find that as you already saw on the town's website and please do check it out. It's, it's a great program. That's great. And, Sh and Shelby, once again, an, you know, a home run in terms of this is great information, great information yep. for Frank and Mary. It's helpful for me. I was going to, I'm doing this from home. I was going to ask my wife to come down to hear this because <laughs> she, she gotten something from here said, well, how does this aggregation thing work? And I didn't even try. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so before, before we go, Shelby, once again, we try to have a few minutes at the end of the show sure. where you can kind of talk to folks about kind of what's going on yep. in Westboro. And you were just mentioning there was just a, what you thought was a very successful town meeting in terms of participation and everything. So what's going on and kind of what's ahead? Yeah, so, so proud of our town. We had an amazing turnout for a three article special town meeting. Last night we had about 215 people um, attend. We um, all three articles passed unanimously, which is I, I think it's a it's like a hat trick record. Um, but um, the for the key articles, well, the key articles were one is we are proceeding with water treatment, um, a, a water treatment contract award, which people probably don't get excited about, but you use it every day, so you want to make sure our water is good and clean. Um, the second thing is that uh, we approved about $59,000 in funding for um, uh, breathing apparatus for our fire department um, um, for life and safety. And then the one I think everyone was really excited about is the town entered into a purchase and sale for the 31 to 33 Eli Whitney um, property. On, um, some know it as the Day Prey property. 66 acres will be uh, forever protected open space um, conservation for passive recreation. Really, really excited. Um, $2.3 million purchase, all coming out of the Walk Up Robinson open space funds and sale of real estate. So no impact to taxpayers, thanks to the, uh, you know, the planning and work of, of many people and, and generosity. So very excited about those results. Um, and uh, I'll also just give uh, viewers a heads up of what we have to come. So on next week's show, we have candidate for representative, uh, Dr. Syed Hashmi. He is running against uh, Representative Danielle Gregoire, so he'll be our guest next week. Uh, working on a couple other dates um, for the Affordable Housing Trust to come back with an update. We had them on a couple weeks ago. Really important initiative there. And on the 28th, we'll have our town manager, Christy William, talk to us about fall town meeting, date to be determined, um, and um, the budget. So lots going on. Westboro is a busy, dynamic community with just, uh, it, it never ends. So stay tuned. That's Frank why Frank and Mary aren't leaving. That's right. right. They dug a hole in the backyard. They're ready. They're going to be here for. We got to really check if there's a permit for that. I'm not a, sure. <laughs> so thank you very much to um, Peter Dunbeck and to Eileen Nicopolis. This was really, really great information. Thanks to Shelby once again for finding great people. This is really meaningful to every every senior here and everybody in 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 Westwood, but certainly every senior. Folks, we hope you continue to enjoy these shows, and uh, we will look forward to seeing you uh, next week on the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Westboro. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks for having us. Thank you.